I'ma show you I'm what we're gang, 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 and we bout to go up. Yeah. Yeah. Some lanes, it's a thing every time we show up. tracing the issues I've been replacing everything that these two codes have been for uh, the two codes were 28 and 29 I believe uh, 28 was running lean 29 was running rich I had both codes um, I replaced those two codes what I found what I research and find was um, either vacuum leaks or O2 sensors and I did the upstream O2 sensors still had the same issue I know I've replaced my intake gaskets before so I know those ain't the issues and I've done my uh, all my vacuum lines so I know that ain't the issue so all those left that was still factory on the car as far as I know was the uh, downstream O2 sensors they weren't as hard as I thought they were gonna be. I know the plugs were inside the car and underneath the carpet. Where under the carpet, I didn't know. So I just said, screw it one day, I was gonna look and find out. And the driver's side is real close to the gas pedal. Uh, and the passenger side is around the same area. Just pull up the carpet on one side and you can reach in there and unplug it and push it through the floor, it's real easy. feels stronger it feels a little faster I hadn't had a chance to test it or do any uh, time trials uh, because the um, here in Louisiana we're having a rainy day so can't really play around in the rain because can't get traction yes I know I just floored it and said I can't get traction but I was rolling about 30 miles an hour before I floored it <laughs> For a dead stop, yeah, I can't get traction in the rain. But bumpy roads. You gotta love Louisiana. Also doesn't help I'm riding on coilovers too, so. But uh, it fixed the problem. The car's running better. It's running stronger. Uh, what made me want to change O2 sensors in the first place, when I did live data, it gave me two four readings for uh, O2 sensors. Two of them said lean, rich, or normal, and it kept on saying uh, lean. And then there was one that was, there was two of them that gave me numbers, which is the downstream. On the driver's side downstream was reading zero, and the passenger side downstream was fluctuating. Apparently it was working good enough to keep the car running, but not good enough to keep the car going smoothly because um, it at times I'd drive down the road and I'd give it the gas and the car boom boom you know just kind of bog down and die and turn it off turn it back on and start working again what it was was that one last O2 sensor that was working occasionally would fall out on me and quit giving any readings and the computer wouldn't know what to give it so now that I put these on, both of them are reading, so I'm good. I'm happy with that. The car's running better. It's smoother. It's a little bit quieter, surprisingly, and it doesn't, which I'm gonna miss. The uh, when I slow down, it's not pop 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 pop. You know, it's just spitting and sputtering like a verbal tune. Uh, I like that. But uh, maybe down the road when I do a standalone computer, I can get that verbal tune back. Just not a extreme like some people. <laughs> But it's running good. I'm happy with it. Sorry for it. I know it's five minute video, maybe six minute video. Um, but I just wanted to give y'all an update on it and uh, 
show y'all that it's running good. I'm driving it right now. And, uh, but, uh, just a little quick update. If you like my video, if uh, you like what you see, like, like my video, subscribe to my channel, help me out so I can do better content for y'all. I'm learning every day, trying to be a better YouTuber. I know I'm not the greatest at it, but, uh, I'm trying to get better at it. My editing skills is getting a little bit better. So, y'all have a blessed day and a good Sunday. And I'll see you next time. One, two, three.